Now in this section, I'm going to look at how to use tables within a Microsoft Word document. So the first thing is, how do you insert a table? Well, if I just click in this document here, if I click on the Insert tab, then you've got this table section here. And if I go and click on where it says Table, I can um, just move over here and define any sort of table size I want. So let's go for this one here. So I'll create a 7x5 table. If I click, in goes the table. Um, I can enter text into these, so I can type in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whoops, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If I now click in this uh, cell here just under Monday, I can enter a number just to uh, illustrate how you do this. And if I press the tab key, that takes me to the next cell. So what I can do is I can enter numbers followed by the uh, tab key. And as you can see, I'm now in the uh, cell directly under Sunday. If I press tab again, it drops me down to the first cell in the next row. So I'll just carry on doing this. Just put some numbers in so we can play with these. So here we are, we've got a little table we can play around with. Obviously you can um, change the formatting as, as normal. So for instance, if I double click on the word Monday, you can make that bold or not bold. Also if I click within the table here, you've got table tools. So you've got table tools design and table tools layout. If I click on design here, you've got all sorts of uh, formatting options you can apply. And if you click on the down arrow, you have even more, so I can apply maybe that one there. If I don't want that, I can click on the undo button to go back to where we were. And the other thing you've got, if I click within the table here, is table tools layout. So within here, I can do various things, like for instance, I've got selection tools, um, I can delete uh, objects, the entire table, or I can insert rows you know, above or below, or columns to the left or the right, and all the rest of it. So if I click here in the cell containing the number 8, if I go to where it says select, you see you can select the cell, select the column, which is selecting the column like so. I'll just uh, click in 8 to release that. I can select the row by going here. I'll just click to release that. And I can select the entire table by clicking here, so everything's selected. Um, there's other ways of doing selection, so for instance, if I want to select the top row containing the words Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., if I move the mouse pointer to here and click, that will select the entire row. If I want to select the bottom row, I move the mouse pointer to here until it changes from this shape to that shape, and when I click, it will select that bottom row. If I move the mouse pointer up to the top here, because it changes like so, that will select that particular column. If I want to select the Wednesday column, I move the mouse pointer to the changes just like so. Click, and that will select it. Um, if I click on uh, the Monday one, and then go and click on the Wednesday one, you'll see that the Monday one is no longer selected. So if I want to select the Monday column, and also the Wednesday column, what I do is I select the first column, press down the control key, move the mouse pointer to here, and maybe here, and here, and then you can select multiple, what's called non-contiguous columns. In the same way, if I wanted to select this row here, I would just go here and click. If I wanted to select the bottom row at the same time, I'll press the control key down and then click there. So as you can see, that row there and that row there are now selected. If I want to select multiple cells, you can of course simply drag over. So uh, in this case, let's do that again. If I click uh, here within the cell containing number eight, if I press down the mouse button and hold it down and drag across maybe to here, when I release the mouse button, that area of cells, you know, that block will be re-selected.
Now, if you want to adjust this uh, table in some way, at the moment it's all equally spaced. If I move the mouse pointer, say, to here, and notice the pointer changes from this to that, I can just drag across and drag the uh, cell with me, or the column with me, in the same way I could do this. So I could go here, press down, drag across, do the same with this one, drag across, and so, so forth, like this, and like that, and like that. If I want to put it back the way it was, I just press Control Z a few times. Remember, Control Z is the undo key, and there we are, back to normal. I'll just take that bold off again. If I click within here, and then we click on Table Tools Layout, as you can see, there's various other things I can do. For instance, I can insert um, a row or column. Let's say I want to insert a new row just under the cells containing the uh, days of the week. I could select those, and then I could go to um, Insert Below, and there we go. I can undo that. Let's say I wanted to insert a new column, maybe to the right of the Tuesday column. I'm not sure why you'd want to in this case, but I'm just illustrating the principle. You would click on where it says Layout here, and you could insert to the right, and there you go. I'll undo that because it doesn't make much sense in this case. So if you click within there and go back to Layout, as you can see, there's lots and lots of things. Like, for instance, how about selecting the entire table by dragging across it, clicking on Auto Fit, and Auto Fit the contents. So there you are, automatically adjusted itself. So where you've got um, Wednesday, which is a um, you know a bigger word than say Monday, that is slightly wider than this one. Again, Control Z will undo that. Undo that for me. Click within this. Go back to layout. And what else have you got? Um, various things here. I mean, you can delete the entire table if you want to. Um, you can go here and click on table properties. And from there, you can select things like uh, text wrapping and alignment. More on that later. Um, so basically, there's numerous things you can change. Incidentally, I showed you how you could drag here to adjust the uh, the width of the cell. If I undo that, the other thing you can do, obviously, is if you go here. Whoops! If you go here and drag down, you can adjust the height of the cell. So I go here, drag here, drag here, drag. And as you can see, it uh, it gives it a more sort of open look. Again, I'll press undo to get rid of all that. And we're back to where we were. There is a lot more you can do with tables, but that gives you a quick introduction. So remember, if I just do it one more time, if I click here and I want to insert a table with a 2x2 two two structure, I can go to Insert, Tables, 2x2, two two, click, and there we go. And then you can just type your information in pressing the tab key to go from one to the other. Instantly, if I delete this and we look at the original thing here, I've got um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the top here, and then I've got my numbers. Um, you've seen that if, for instance, you go to this cell here and you press the tab key, that takes you to the next uh, cell. Something else that's quite useful is if you click on the last cell and press the tab key, that creates a new row. So you can put some more numbers in there. And like I said, when you get to the last uh, cell within the table, you press the Tab key, and that automatically creates a new row for you.